Hey, jackass. Yeah, you, jackass. You can't detect. On, really who does that hey everybody it's pop can dan listen um i got a new permission and uh i'm very excited about this this is one of those permissions that i've been driving by for like 25 years and it's a beautiful house from 1840 and it's one of those places that you're just so intimidated you don't want to go knock on the door and i've just been so afraid some places i walk right up and i don't care i just knock on that door and i go hey man let me detect you know but there's some places it's just you, you're honestly intimidated by and this is one of them for me and finally the, the other day on the weekend i was driving by and i saw the guy outside and i'm like i just felt good about myself i was like it's one of those days you're like i can change the world here and i turned right in and I pulled up his driveway and I got out and I said hey man how you doing I, I knew his name too I said your name's Fred right how you doing you know I started talking to him about the, his house how beautiful it was and I just dropped it I just said hey man I would love to be able to swing a detector on your lawn what are the chances you know and he turns and he looks at me he goes yeah man no problem he goes I go what you know he goes yeah for sure so I started telling him all the code of ethics and stuff and I really got him worked up and he seemed pretty excited so I'm going back I'm going there today for the first time the reason I'm doing my intro here is out of respect for him, I'm not doing the uh, intro in front of his house. Because his house is a, it's in, it's on a corner of a major intersection. You're gonna hear in the video when I'm, if I find stuff in the ground, you're gonna hear cars going by and everything. And it's not fair for if anybody watches the video to go knocking on his door as well. Um, just not, not, I mean, not that I'm saying I wanna be exclusive there, but. It's just not fair to him. His, I respect his privacy, so um, this is where I want to do the intro, all right? 1840s house, phenomenal, man. I mean, it is stunning, and I wish I could really show it to you, but unfortunately, you're just going to be seeing the grass and some trees and my finds. That's it. So here we go. I'll check back in with you. Here we go. Okay, friends, very first hole, 23-24. Uh, Look at that very first signal I dug. Pretty cool. All right, friends, got our first coin, first coin. Looks small, maybe like a dime. Don't even know what it is yet. Let's have a look, all right? All right, yeah, it was a, it was a no-brainer for sure. And uh, there it is right there. So let's clean this up. Let's see what we got here. Give me one second. All right, friends, 1992 dime. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. Good stuff. All right. So I'll show you a little bit of the house behind me. The landowner said he's, he's fine with it, but I still want to show a little uh, respect for him, privacy for him as well. So anyways, um, hey, I think I got myself a, uh, looks like a modern quarter, but ah, <laughs> see there's, he's got the sprinkler going, I'm getting wet. Let's have a look at it. Right there, it was a no brainer, man. I caught that one right away. Modern quarter, I didn't get a date off it, but there you go. Alrighty, <laughs> another nickel. I'm telling you, man, I'll be able to buy lunch with the with the coins I'm finding here. But uh, I'm looking for the old stuff, man. I know it's here. I just pulled out a very old piece of brass. I didn't film it, uh, period, to the house for sure. So uh, it's here. We just got to find it. This is a 1980 nickel, by the way. Okay, couldn't turn that signal away. Unfortunately, it just turned out to be a shotgun shell, but must be pretty old. Uh, it was pretty deep down in the ground. There we go. All right, man, Whew. it's hot out here. I've been getting nothing but modern coins. A uh, couple of pieces, uh, like period pieces, but they're kind of just junk. Uh, but I just scored something really cool. This was hitting 30, 31 solid, right by this tree trunk. Check this out, this is awesome. I may have to give this to the landowner. He's a huge collector of antiques as well. <laughs> he showed me his garage. I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Check this out. We're going to pull this out together, man. All righty, right by the tree trunk. It was reading four inches down. Look at this. Where is it? Look at that right in the plug. Look at that. 
Here we go. Maybe it's whole, I don't know. Oh, look at that sweetness. Little toy gun. Awesome. Let me clean this up and see what we got. All right, let me just do my favorite line from uh, Tombstone. You must be Doc Holliday. Are you retired too? <laughs> Look at that bad boy, man. Woo! Sweet looking gun. It just says Texas on it. Uh, I don't know if the hammer pulls back or not, but old toy gun, man. Look at the uh, look at the the intricacy of that uh, bowl or whatever it is on the side. That is really cool, man. Really cool. All right, hey everybody, Pop Can Dan. We're gonna sign off here. Uh, whew, good day, hot day, man. But you know what? Landowner Fred, what a guy, man. You know, when I came up and asked for this permission, he, uh, I was really nervous and he just, he listened to everything I said and he said, sounds good to me, man. You know, and I show him the uh, code of ethics, you know, I, he walked around and I, I, told, I told him, I said, I've dug over a hundred holes here, man. He couldn't find one. So that's how it works. That's how it goes. That's how you get the permissions, man. So anyways, signing off. A uh, lot of modern pennies. Deep modern pennies, man. That was tough. That's tough. Old stuff is here. It's just hard to find. Uh, I guess my find of the day was that toy gun, which I really thought was cool. And you know what? I actually gave it to uh, Fred, the landowner. He, uh, he really thought that was cool. He didn't want to take it. He's like, no, man, I, I can't take that. I said... It's on your property. I said, you love your collector. He's a, he's a collector of antiques, man. He showed me in his garage. He's got tons of stuff. I said, you keep that. I said, that's yours, man. He was so excited. He said, I'm going to post that up on, uh, on the, the vintage website and everything that he's a part of. And he was really excited. So, hey, there you go. That, uh, that I guess, that uh, solidified my, uh, my welcome back. So, anyway, sorry if there's wind. Uh, that's it. It was a good day, man. It was a good day. We'll be back. All right, everybody. Take care. Fill in your holes. I had to fill in a ton of holes here, man. Uh, you know, that's how you get the landowner's respect. He walks around, can't find one hole you dug. That's how it goes, man. Everybody take care. <laughs>